And to add more mental pressure to the game, those scores took quite a while. So Morgan Hurd from the United States has been anxiously awaiting her start on the beam. And here she goes. Yeah, we'll see how she handles what I like to call being iced. a one-point deduction. And she'll also lose the value of the skill. I'll tell you what, though that's called a standing back full. You completely lose sight of the balance beam. It's got to be perfect. She was just a little bit off and couldn't save it. And I think she's rattled now. She's really got to focus. You can see I like, I like that. She took her time. A little self-talk. A little bit of self-talk. You can, you can see she's going to be a great veteran athlete one day if she can keep doing that kind of thing. Well, you're not the only one who thinks that Morgan Hurd has a bright future ahead of her. Just a few years ago, former national team coordinator Marta Caroli said she was one to watch for the future. And certainly that future will be very bright for Morgan Hurd. Yeah, competitions like this not necessarily about who comes out on top or who hits all of their routines. It's about what did you learn? And for her, two falls on beam to be able to get back up there, perform with confidence. And I can see it. She's thinking, do well, no more mistakes. Finish this routine strong. That's the real value of these World Cups. And a strong finish with a very, very tricky dismount. Full twisting double backflip. And I know she's disappointed with that routine. But if I were her coach, I'd be extremely proud of how she got back up there after her second fall and finished. I can say there were times when I was an athlete, even in my own sport, where my coach would tell me they were almost happy that I had that experience, that I made those mistakes, because they knew how valuable they were, as you've been saying, to the long game and to my long-term development. So undoubtedly, this will be something that Morgan remembers in the future as something to grow from, rather than something to simply be disappointed over. I've always said this is fuel for the fire. She will remember this routine until the Olympic Games. I promise you that she will never forget that she fell twice at her first senior event on balance beam. And all it's going to do, she's going to go back to the gym. She's going to focus harder than she ever has before. And a lot of times, a failure, it either breaks you or, to, or it makes you. I can tell for her, it's going to make her. You can see the focus there in her eyes and still more to come in the competition, so she has to stay composed, but that's a lot of emotion to rein in in this moment, and she is doing it remarkably well for just 15 years old. And I think you're right, Jonathan, a testament to her resiliency as she looks forward. I mean, I love it. I, you can see she's so happy to be there. She's grateful for the opportunity to be on the senior level, and even with a big 